Welcome to Gershman Art Pottery. Let's continue our journey on how to make pots. Next step, let's go ahead and center some clay. I use bats on my wheel because it's easier to be able to take the pot off the wheel. Those bats have holes that goes on the pins on the wheel head. So here's where we're going to be placing the balls that we have prepared during our last video. First thing, we need to attach the ball to the wheel. So let's go ahead and use some water to make our bat wet. So I got my hand wet. I'm just gonna go ahead and wet my bat. I'm also going to go ahead and use a towel to just take the water out so that it's just humid, it's not wet. That's when we're gonna be centering the clay. So the first thing to center clay is you wanna center with your hands first by turning it. In that way, in pushing down, you're going to seal the edges of the ball on the back. So that water doesn't go in to the under, under so the water doesn't go underneath the ball. That is what is going to prevent the ball from moving from the bat. So now we're gonna go ahead and get our ball wet. We're gonna make sure that we think about two things. Your hands need to be wet, your ball needs to be wet. So you need to have this to be very slippery. So you're gonna go ahead and get it wet as many times as you need to be able to have your ball wet. Think about your elbows. So remember, your elbows are going to be tucked in. You're gonna be leaning forward and your forearms are going to be on the splash pan so that you can have stability and your hands are not moving. Okay, so like I said, hands need to be wet. Ball needs to be wet. Make sure your hands are wet. The speed of the wheel is gonna be also very important. So you wanna make sure that when you're centering, your wheel is actually going pretty fast. It's gonna be easier to center. So you're going to go ahead and put your hands one on one side, the other one is going to be on the other side with your finger on top. That is what is going to start creating that ball from staying in the middle. So make sure your hands are wet and you're squeezing on it. We're going to go ahead and start lifting it and then we're gonna center down. So let's go ahead and take a closer look. Remember, water is very important. So if you feel that this is pulling, you wanna make sure you get your fingers wet, make your hands wet, make the ball wet. First thing we're gonna go ahead and do, when we know that we have it there, we need to make sure that we are going to be racing by squeezing. We squeeze the uh, clay and that is gonna make it go up into a cone. And we push down right on the tip. Make a cone. Make your hands wet, slippery. And then we're gonna go ahead and push with our finger, push down with this hand on the side to make sure we keep it stable. When you get wet, Make sure it's wet. We're gonna go ahead and go down. With this part here of your hand, we're gonna go ahead and make it go down, and then your finger. And your hand is on this side. Just making it, keeping it steady. You also have water on the wheel. Use that water. It's also a great tip. Now, your clay, it's completely centered. Now that we have our clay centered, we're going to learn on our next video on how to do a cylinder. The main shape that you want to be able to master to be able to do any pottery piece, from a bowl to a cup to a vase.
Don't miss the next video. Please share your ideas. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Thanks.